I'll sit in the game. Sweet. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. Because Cthulhu's here. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Hello, people. Jack Bye. Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. Keep My eye. name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. It's the spirit. Alright, so it's not like we're actually going to see the guy. This is just what we got from the meeting, I'm, I'm guessing. See, you've got a purpose now. Don't be so gloomy. Don't be gloomy roomy. Visit to the old town. This is where we die.
Oh god, it's one of them games where you got to pay attention to, to like all dialogue. This does not go well when it comes to like walkthroughs and let's plays and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> it just does not go well. I am here to bring the beef. Driver, how far to the stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square in Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Cape Sound Wanderer is looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus mark <laughs> always the same? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not Aye. to come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Elizabeth has the means to look after her own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a stupid place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like he's trying to do a Stallone impression, but he's like, not got one side of a face drooping, it's both sides. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Fuck you, man. Ah. Uh, End of the line. This is the end of the line, like, okay. So you should be pushed to that. Prick. What a piece of shit. <laughs> well, hi. Hello. How do you do? How, how do you do? Okay. I'm gonna walk back. Stop it. You look like you're having a bad day. How are you doing, friend? Calm you. Calm your tits. Calm your tits. Calm your tits. Oh, I don't like the way you're looking at us. What? What? Outsiders coming, snooping around with a quality. Same guy. Yeah. I'm already. Lo I'm loving this. Hi. Hi. Pay attention to me. Hi. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I can look at you too, mate. Jump like this. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I like being stupid and stuff like this. Oh. You look like you belong in EastEnders, mate. Fuck off. Hey, you look different. Hi. Punch you. Hi. I, I'm looking for a friend who doesn't look like he wants to rip the guts out and eat them. Will you be my friend, please? Please, Sherlock? Please? Please? No, Bobby, hi. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> no. Jesus. Fog's thick tonight. Damp enough to put out a fellow's smokes. Oh, I might have heard your voice. Ah, oh, right, okay. Hello, friend. I shall call you Bobbly Barry. Your bus driver, Bill. What's in here? Oh, 
Oh, this place is just majestic. Lovely. I, I, I want a room. Hi. 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 That's poor room. That's poor service. Evening. Hi. The name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. Oh, you actually sound quite you normal. Rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> I mean, I, I talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. I was gonna say, yes, he sounds normal compared to the guy out there, but it does sound like he wants to rip your throat out, so I'm going to leave him alone. Sounds. What? Hi, you look all right. Can can we be friends? I don't want my heart ripped out. I I big bubbly Bobby, the big guy back there. We're cool. Are we friendly? Hi. I like you. I like your jacket. It's a good jacket. You look half normal, so please don't don't stab me. You've got shifty eyes. All right. Look, someone's around the corner. Tell me, okay? I mean, I'm poor. I'm. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I'm going now. I'm going. Hi. Wow, you are actually, no joke, the most normal person here. Hi. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, oh, Miss. Oh, God, you're a mute. Never mind. Miss will do for now. Oh, thank God. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Telling us to leave is probably the friendliest thing anyone... This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts. Exactly. But she isn't going to talk to me right now. You, you're cool. Yeah, I'll... yeah. I can't go in there because I'll probably get stabbed. Uh, it's just another day in Sunland, really. Mind you, they've got the atmosphere down to a T. This looks awesome. It's just an advertisement for the local Methodist church. With a good windpipe in early, in a towel and scowl and smile. Hi, friend. Oh, he's pissing. Don't to touch him. Wave. Don't know what he's got. Just stare. Just stare. Just stare. Oh, he's no, not done. No, we... Look, I don't and want an encore. I'm going in. It won't open. Damn it. In the storm. It won't budge. Huh? Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok. That be my name. Though too few years in now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just the youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. 
taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Zadok. You enjoy your, uh, nothing. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Go on. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagging. That's manipulation, man. Okay. The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warrens. Sorry, I thought that said poop house. Hello, Mr. Officer. How you doing? Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. You look like you want to eat my brain. Ropes. Elliot Ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? Yes. No, not at all. Fine. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. Right, uh, so main goal right now is to try and find that storefront. Uh, I feel it's down there, maybe. That's right. The what do you want? Jesus Christ, you potato face bastard. Right, I'm gonna turn me I'm gonna turn me back. Yeah. You wipe your nose, I'm gonna turn me back and you better be gone, okay? Three, two, one. Oh. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Ah, you can't come down here. You f ah, ha, 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 me heart. Oh my you god. You certainly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. I do not remember the last time a game had me fucking scream. I do not remember. I'm scared now. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's a subtle thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. Fucking hell. It's actually quite scary. I'm just gonna watch. Fuck you! I told you already. Stop your snooping around. <laughs> That's great here, voice acting. Damn, I need to be more careful. Can we go, please? Could you direct me to the First National Grocery Store? Found it. I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. <sighs> God damn it. All right, you can stop pushing it. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. Found it. Store. And I'm busy. So stop your pestering me with questions. Why is everybody in this tone of dick? He isn't gonna spill with anything stop useful. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. What are you gonna do only. about it? He'll do stop nothing. Stop your snooping. He'll do nothing. And there's for hotel staff only. He'll do nothing. Stop your snooping. Well, do nothing. And there's for hotel staff. Do fucking nothing. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, miss. I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. Come on! She's too frightened to talk to me, but this lady knows something. Can you at least tell me if you knew the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Look here, Mr. Walters. I can't answer your questions, and your harassment is putting us both in danger. Please, leave me alone. In danger? From whom? Kafulu. Now go! 
she isn't going to tell me anything useful right now. Evening, Constable. Certainly, I'm busy. No time for fucking strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters. Look, we're cool. I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm Constable Birch, and I'm the law around these parts, and I'm still not talking to you. What's your problem? Now get lost. Move if along. You could just answer out. a couple of questions. I already told you once. Get lost before I have you arrested. What the hell for? Disrupting the peace. I just want to know if you have any leads on the Burnham lad. No, but I'm reckoning he's fled to Boston. Plenty of his type that way. His type? Troublemakers. Them's not respecting the law. There's no proof he did anything wrong. If he had the keys, why break into his own store? Just details. A missing manager in a robbed store makes him guilty by my reckoning. What's with the police cordons? I don't see that as being any concern of yours. Look, Constable, I used to be on the force a long time ago. I was the best there was working a crime scene. Well, your point? If you could let me have a look, just for a minute, I might be able to help. Perhaps even get you a lead on this Burnham crook. Well, no, that does not be right. Hey! Hey! I'll move. Oh shit. I can't move. I actually The alley has been cordoned off by the police. Hey! Hey! Help! The alley has been cordoned off by the police. Help! Someone help, I'm stuck. I am I'm actually the alley has been cordoned off by the police. Buddy! Buddy! The alley has been cordoned off by the police. Oh, he's gonna arrest us. He is going to arrest me. Can't even. I can't jump, I can't crouch. Hey! Hey! Hey, get it! Tubs! Tubs! Hi. What's with the cordons on the other side of the square? Them police affairs. Has nothing to warrant your concern. Nothing too serious, I hope. Probably a mugging. An outside wandering the alleys after dusk. Maybe come across something he wasn't expecting. You telling me someone's been murdered? Perhaps. It's not always that simple. Could have been a wild beast just as easy. This ain't the place to be set about. Move along! Can I snoop around the crime scene? No. I'll be real quick. I haven't changed my mind. Come on, come on, buddy. Look, Constable, the First National hired me to investigate this incident. Got it? Have you got a warrant? Well, no. Oh, God damn it, it's man. It's property. And if you just make a call... No, I already told you, get lost. The alley has been cordoned off by the police. Fuck you! Fuck you! I got caught here, I'm calling it a day on this and I'll come back to it.
it's unlocked. Get in! Get in! Please, please get in! Please get in! Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Give me this fog I caught there. The till's empty. The store may be low on stock, but it's immaculately kept. The store may be low on stock, but it's immaculately kept. Alcohol, that'd be awesome. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. The drawer is empty. A typewriter, invoices and receipts, nothing of interest. A typewriter, invoices and receipts, nothing of interest. Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. The drawer is empty. The drawer is empty. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. Oh no! The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. Why would Brian force entry when he had a set of keys? Why would someone break in through the front? It won't budge. Don't like this. won't open. This makes no sense. These scratch marks look like they were made by some kind of animal. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange.
trap door. Oh my god, dude, really? Whoever's down there, you can rock! Oh, thanks, friend! Oh, oh, you... To protect and serve, I. Aye, that's what I thought. Uh, well, this is me now. Dead. It looks like a diary. It's got to have some clues. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. The storage area is clutter free and well organized. Oh, I feel like I'm over here for some reason. Or, you know, we could have just climbed up and seen what happened. Logic. This game is really fucking creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Holy crap. Nothing of interest. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. I just come from there. Yeah. Yeah, I came from here. It won't budge. Probably for good reason. Nothing of interest. Hey! Don't flash front me face. Oh no. No! Game's glitched. Game's glitched. Right. It saddens us to do that because I thought I was doing well with the stealth. Uh, 
and if I do have to re-record it, I'm gonna have to do a whole game again. But at least I know now what I've got to do. Uh, and it'll give us a time to gauge whether this does well on YouTube or not, because um, I think I'll upload this one straight away. Uh, I'll work on this a second I stop the video. I've really enjoyed this. Like, really, really enjoyed this. Like, the game is just so creepy, man. I mean, it's very cheesy in some parts with the voice acting, and I love that. If you've got cheesy voice acting in a game, I love it wholeheartedly. Like, honestly. This game... <laughs> yeah. Um... I love the atmosphere. I love exactly what it's got going for it. I'm liking the de detective vibes it's got going as well. I'm like, I'm usually not a fan of detective games anyway, but like, big fan of what it's doing, yeah. Uh, that and it's genuinely pretty scary. Um, and that makes us giddy because I can't remember the last game that had his like, like I've had games where I'm like, oh god, not this bit, or oh my god. Don't like things chasing us. No, this game is just like you know, you know something's going to happen, like all the time, but you don't know when. And even even then, it's some of the most subtle things that aren't going to harm you, like like the fucking like the cop. I love it. I love it. So I, I'm going to try and make this a full series. If I don't, please get on my case about it. Please like. I did it with Evil Dead, like, Fistful of Boomstick. I've done it with so many different games, but Evil Dead came to mind first. But, like, I've done it with so many games. Like, this one I really want to stick to. And, uh, yeah, I, I really hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Been. And, yeah. Thank you. I'll see you all for the next video. Goodbye.